Welcome to When Nerds Learn to Fly. I actually started this drawing on the world's highest railway. No, seriously, we were taking the rail from Lhasa, Tibet to Xi'an, China. It was an overnight train. We were in a, a sleeper car, and we knew that we were going to be on the train for 20 plus hours altogether. So I brought along a photograph and started this drawing. It didn't get finished on the railway because honestly the scenery was so beautiful that I didn't really do anything but watch the world go by and every bit of that was worth it. But this wedding is coming up very quickly so I need to get this portrait completed. That means sitting down and focusing on it, getting the shadowing right, which is more difficult than I'd like to admit because there are very subtle shadow changes in this photograph making it very difficult to determine exactly where they are. Strong shadows are oftentimes a lot easier because you can distinctly see where one ends and another begins. Truly capturing someone look, someone's look is really all about getting your shadows right. It's about getting their location right and it's also about getting the tonal range right. Just a slight change in shadow can change the entire shape of someone's face. Um, for instance, with this photograph, she's tilting her chin down, which is creating more shadows below without getting too dark on her face, but still taking into consideration that her chin is tilted. For him, he's very well lit on one side, but not quite on the other. It's a, it's a balancing act. <laughs> okay, I think it's time for me to give up on this. We're done. Always an adventure. Yeah, that's us. <laughs>